Hello. Um, oh, I'm being contaminated. Well, I'm here to talk to you about the uh, hope thing about regarding OCD. There is hope. You can get cured. And if anybody is telling you anything different, um, they're wrong. Um, the message here is that 70% of the people using a standardized four days uh, cure um, get cured. And ten years, four years later, they're okay. They're not sick anymore. That's good news. So, um, and it's news. Uh, it's also old news because it's based on the old principle of ERP. So, uh, it's the new thing is you just do it a lot. So there's two um, pioneers, if you will, uh, in Norway, and it's being implemented all over the nation um, these days. And um, uh, because it's considered evident that ERP works. Now, what if you have no money? What if you have no time? And what if your life is ruined by this terrible disease? Well, there is hope. Move to Norway. Um, no. The thing is, self-help and ERP have helped a lot of people. It's, it's difficult. It's not an easy thing to do. But um, I'll explain it, why it works, and that might motivate you. Um, so, the reason why this works is that Part of the problem when you have anxiety disorders of any kind, and including OCD, is that you tend to generalize your fear and start avoiding things. And you avoid more and more things, and avoidance become part of the problem and not part of the solution. Let me give you a very concrete example. I'm very tense in this area, because that's where bloody well breathe, isn't it? And that's where the heart is. That's automatic processes, and I want control with it. I'm tense here. So what do I do? I do a lot of relaxation and I get some medicine. I drink a few beers or whatever. And I do what feels good in order to relax this area. Um, in the OCD philosophy, ERP is more or less going in the opposite direction. How much tension in your muscles can you create in this area? And how much uh, exercise can you actually do without being destroyed? That is what ERP is about. Bear with me, because we're not there yet. Exposure and response prevention. Okay. So stay with me. Your body is tense and you don't like your body and you have the type of OCD where you feel that um, the tension has to go away else you will die and then you become more and more careful and you avoid stresses you avoid s noises you don't drive the car if the traffic traffic is hectic and so on and so forth the more you avoid the more nervous you get and you'll never learn because this is learning theory you will never learn that heavy traffic is actually the thing you can cope with and you start avoiding more and more things and that will make your uh, fears even worse. That's what ERP is based on. So you should avoid avoidance. You should expose yourself to things. So try to think of something else. Try to relax. Try a breathing technique that would empty your brain. That might work for other people, but it's not good OCD treatment, I find. But if it works for you, brilliant. Then you don't need treatment perhaps. So, four days of intensive ERP uh, makes chronic patients uh, get new lives or get their life back. And um, so, let me exemplify. One way of doing this is if you're afraid of <coughs> bacteria from coughing, from dogs, from uh, low hygiene toilets. That makes a lot of sense. Don't be stupid. Come on. There's a small risk here. But if that thought of risk is invading you and it will not stop 
and it it's just a, an echo chamber in your mind and you start doing certain rituals and you're forced to wash your hands all the time then you have the OCD and the response prevention would be expose yourself to bacteria which would be my cute dog <coughs> coughing or the terrible habit we have a handshake why do we even do that it doesn't make sense to me frankly I have to admit that you know the, the elbow notching it's better hygiene come on it is but that's cultural habit um, I read somewhere that, that there's, there's a place in the Pacific Island where they rub their noses together. Anyway, expose yourself to the risk of virus and bacteria for an extended period of time. Do not engage in rituals and, and this is important, do not use your intellect to cut down the risk or the way you perceive it. You see, we evaluate things and we evaluate the same things differently um, and um, exposure therapy as self-help you can do it but it requires a lot of determination so my example here would be I have tension in my hands because I write a lot with this hand and so I should avoid writing and I should try to make some relaxation exercises for this hand no tense do everything you can in order to make the muscles here as tense as possible and then maybe you can relax it don't forget that you have muscles clenching it's called flexors and extensors it's a little technical but you have to work on both sides of the joint you have to tense as much as possible now um, there's that's a good example so uh, if you feel that you really really need to relax hello so there is a cure when 70 percent get better from exposing themselves to bacteria and you don't know where this dog nose had been the last time it was searching something in the ground and so on and so forth but the thing is this is exactly the kind of thing you have to expose yourself to more tension on a bodily level on a mental level in order to cure this this is a caricature you want to change your light bulb and you cannot stand on the chair because you're afraid of heights you know in your rational mind that if you stand on that chair and you fall down you will not harm yourself a whole lot also you know you will probably not fall down so what is the fear really about you have nothing to fear but fear itself and that's how OCD and anxiety disorders work you become afraid of frighten of frightening yourself you cannot calm yourself out of that so learning theory would say and this is the good message dog was in my face right that's the trigger for you maybe so the good message is you cannot have a panic attack for more than 12 15 minutes you cannot have extreme fear for more than a certain period of time and then you will think of other things you'll still be stressed out but the problem is that it's a better cure that go through this if you feel like you're going through hell don't stop and join the review, keep on walking, Churchill said. I, in this context, it means you have to go through this. You cannot avoid hell. It's just a question of if you stop and expose yourself to the bacteria of the toilet seat with your own hands and live with it for an extended period of time. You have done ERP-based self-help you have done exactly the opposite of what your OCD tells you to do now what is it that the Facebook OCD groups are about hello I have this symptom does anybody feel like me that's safety behavior you should avoid that maybe do it to begin with make friends it's, it's very okay 
but it's a much better message saying, hello, I have these OCD symptoms on a scale from zero to 10, this is score seven. And I get exposed myself to it and the response I usually have, I did not do. I went to the supermarket, I engaged in a conversation with a person I don't know, and it went well and I did not run away. I had very stressful bodily sensations, but I kept on talking to the man about whatever it was. Casual conversations and people fear that a lot. It's very much about control. Talking to a stranger, you don't know what the conversation is going to bring you. Uh, the part of your body that has to be movable, right? <laughs> I mean, come on. The heart has to go and beating, and you have to get uh, your lungs uh, working, expanding, and doing what they do, and it's an automatic process you should not control, and you cannot. But fear is telling you you have to control it, and so you do these things. So a very good example of ERP is from uh, the pioneers of OCD treatment of Norway. They have a wonderful book about the 101 thing they wished they knew before they started treatment, fear treatment. And one of the chaps is saying, okay, break your heart. Destroy it if you can. This is deadly serious. If you have a heart condition and it's been an exam you have, it, don't do this. But if you're a normal person, do exactly this, if you dare. Run. Run slowly warm up, go easy about it, and um, then when you're warmed up and maybe just spend a couple of days and become a runner, it's good for you anyway, then you do the intervals. At You run up, you run for 10 minutes, and then you run extremely fast for say two minutes. And slow paced running for three minutes. It's called interval training. I hate it. But that's not the point here. The psychological point is for two minutes, I am provoking my thoughts, my thoughtful fears of bodily sensations in trying to run so fast that my heart will actually break. And now I hear a voice saying, I cannot do that because of this and that and this and that. Okay. But I'm telling you that ERP is difficult. So you might need another OCD patient or a friend or a professional therapist to help you do just this. The most ex famous example of OCD is probably the contamination thing, right? So um, you expose your hands to something dirty that you wouldn't normally do and then you don't wash. You have the urge to wash forever, and you don't. And you become more and more stressed out about it. But the learning process here is that you will get to the other side of this stress thing, and then you won. And that's how ERP works. It's really that simple. OCD is programming you to do things that make you think you are in control, but you're not, you're losing control. So the OCD voice is telling you to do this and that and it's a demon it's wrong also you're not a bad person OCD people usually have high morals not low morals they're good people so when you get this idea that um, I might be gay God doesn't like me I'm a murderous thief I will kill my children I cannot be alone that sort of things I'm not telling you you should kill your child and I know you will not do it. Harm OCD. What I'm telling you is take the biggest bread knife you have. You know, trigger warning, the one from Psycho, the, the thing, the knife, right? You put that and your child in the car and you go for a car ride you are going to be totally freaked out and you're going to be afraid but this is when you get to the other side of it and you have not harmed anyone 
you have cured yourself. 2%, five maybe, and you have to keep on doing exactly this. Contamination, OCD, that's bacteria. Expose yourself to it and do not respond in the exaggerated way that the OCD voice tells you to. Do the opposite. Don't wash. This is a bacteria bomb. It's look at the mouth. It's been everywhere. Maybe maybe it's eating terrible things. We all evaluate the same symptoms differently. So what I urge you to do now. From Facebook, you know there are other people with other types of OCD, OCDs you don't have. If religion means nothing to you, okay, what would it be like to help a person who is in despair because God doesn't like me? You're totally detached from that because you're an atheist, aren't you? I have to give you one word of warning here. OCD have changing faces. It's not a computer program coming up with the same variables all the time. So, on my homepage, I'll show you some exercises you can do where you tense up your entire body in order to relax it. It's not overly difficult. It's a yoga thing. You can tense before you relax. It will have a huge uh, positive effect on your body. And before you do that, run. Running, trying to break your heart. That will be a way of becoming more healthy and more fit. And stop being afraid of stressing your body. Because it was made to, to do that. If you're a woman, I mean, come on. You would decide you can even give birth to twins or triplets. And live through it. Women are amazing creatures. And they don't have bad hearts in general, statistically. But, I mean, you can have your GP uh, examine it and, and find out. But what I'm urging you to do is to do exposure. Expose yourself to the dark bacteria that you're so afraid of. And then do not follow the urge to do some ritual that would take away the intrusive thought. Stay with the thought for as long as you can and do either nothing or the opposite. Cheers.